guys, Cassie here. I am so excited because my little sister is in town to visit yeah. She lives in the Bay Area where I used to live. She rarely comes to LA, so I'm really excited that you're here. Yay. We have all these weird things in front of us today because we are testing kitchen gadgets. Today, we'll be testing out the three-in-one avocado slicer, citrus reamer with hip catcher, the banana slicer, stainless steel herb scissors, the half-gallon carton holder. Ready? Ready! Okay, so our first one is going to be the three-in-one avocado slicer. This promises to do what? Split it, hit it, slice it. Wow. I love avocado toast, and you? Yes. Love. So love. Good. Okay, so we're basically gonna race to see who can make a slice of avocado Avocado toast faster. I will use traditional knife and you shall use three that one. on your marks. Get set. Ready. Wait. <laughs> In three, two, one. Race. Oh, I'm halved already. Slice okay. it. Look at that. I just sliced so oh many. Oh my gosh. So good. So we have to do both sides then. Both sides. Okay. Whoa. Yep. Look at that. That looks good. Oh. All slice, I win. Oh my god! You ate that without salt and pepper? I that know. was record time. Yeah. Clearly, Jacqueline has twice as many, so yes. that means it works fast. The slices are legit. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Avocado slicer, thumbs up or thumbs down? Two thumbs up. Woo. Up next, we have the catcher. It is a citrus reamer with pip catcher. What is a pip? What is a pip? I'm gonna go with pulp. Gone plural. Hulk gone plural. So this is called the reamer head, and this is called the hanging hole. These are called the pip catching holes. Well, we're gonna race each other and see who gets more juice. Three, two, one, go! Oh, you guys are so good. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I yeah. definitely have a cut on my finger. Oh no! Don't you guys hate that? It really hurts. I'm dying inside. I'm on to slice number two. I'm done. Uh, I'm done. As you can see, it's caught about like eight to ten seats. It's actually very similar. I have something a little bit more. It's like a little bit more. Wow, I'm <laughs> impressed. Yours is higher because you have more seed volume. Okay, don't hit the fire, hit the game. <laughs> How do you feel about squeezing lemons versus something like this? This seems unnest. A nest. I make a lot of sauces with lemons. To tell you the truth, this is kind of awesome. I think I have a little bit more. Oh man, well let's drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you're drinking the whole thing? Oh my gosh, that's so sour. Next up, we have the banana slicer. Banana and slicer. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Do you ever slice your bananas? Sure do. Sure do. <laughs> do you open your banana from this side or this side? This side, definitely. What? You put the <gasps> fingernail in and then you peel. But it, you can put fingernail right here. Yeah, but you put lots of banana gunk in the nail trunk. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Oh, done. Let's look at coin quality. Coin quality. Okay, let's, let's choose a one. random one. So Not bad. The, yeah, the thickness is is. Visible. Yours is definitely a lot thicker. Look at this wasted banana. It's at least like an eighth of a tablespoon. <laughs> so how do you feel about this? You know, I think it was really fast and efficient. I just don't cut coins very often. Cheers! Cheers. Mm. Mm. Maybe if you want to create an art installation and just like put this up around the house, that's Ooh. cute. If you're giving like a banana lover a banana gift pack, you just stick it on the side. One, two, three. So next up we have herbs, cilantro. In fact, I love cilantro, do you? So good. We are going to try out the stainless steel herb scissors. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. That is kind of awesome. That's crazy. Our goal is to mince our cilantro into herb confetti. Three, two, one, race. Ho oh. ho. When you cut like this, you definitely make sure your fingers are safe. So always put your fingernails down into the cilantro. Okay, I'm done. I have bigger pieces because, but they're still confetti. I would still say this is look, confetti. Okay, let's look at the quality of our confets. This is kind of a disaster. I do not want to clean this. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's good. And we are on to our final product, the half gallon carton holder. You know what would be really sad if this didn't fit? Oh my gosh, it fits. Oh, this actually kind of looks cool. It's like a protective sleeve. Orange juice versus cashew milk. 
totally the same thing. <laughs> they looked exactly the same. I felt like I was in control. I feel like when you hold this, like it could slip out of your hand. Yeah. Or like you have butter on your hand. Or you just like, want a lotion. Yeah. yeah. This you like hold and you're like, I have got this. That takes up a good amount of space in the frigeroni. And mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like the fridge is made just for this yep. carton and like if it sticks out, like what happens? Yup. Uh, well guys, thank you so much for joining us for Testing Kitchen Gadgets. Woo! That was Ooh, so fun. That was really fun. Every day. And also, if you're interested in getting any of these products, all the links are in the description box below. And guys, you should also follow my little sister Jacqueline on IG at Jacqueline Ho. Or check out her blog at JacquelineHo.com. So what do you think? Should we mix these together? Oh my gosh. We do this in smoothies all the time. It looks like eggnog. Eggnog. Cheers. 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 All right. And that's the end of the show. <laughs> Thanks.